So first of all, current main target for immunotherapy is a PD-1 and a PD-1, and there are several agents that are currently approved and under investigation. The important point is a single agent activity for gastric and GJ cancer is very limited. Usually, response rate was around 10 to 12 percent, and half of patient quickly associated with uh, disease progression. So optimal patient selection and the further combination might be important, especially for gastric and GJ cancers. Regarding the single agent, to select optimal patient must be most important. In this ESMO meeting, uh, we presented a subgroup analysis from Keynote 62 trial uh, to investigate pembrolizumab in first line. And here we observed the remarkable survival benefit in MSI high patient with pembrolizumab. MSI high is relatively low frequency, five to around five percent in gastric cancer, but still present. So maybe we should should pick up the MSI high patient, and pembrolizumab should be the treatment option for such cases. And still, additional patients such as a higher PD-1 expressor are also show the good outcome. So this patient may be a good candidate, but mm -hmm. still not a few patients not achieve the benefit, so far the combination must be necessary. So again, MSI high and PDR1 status is are uh, current uh, important factors, especially MSI high. Patients, uh, doctors or patients should know uh, each patient, the MSI status in each patient. Out of the MSI high PDR1 status such as CPS and especially higher number of CPS, CPS 10 or higher, might be still important for some gastric cancer patients. But still we need to identify additional ones uh, with our further biomarker analysis including EBB status and the tumor mutation burden status and their further RNA sequence. This kind of analysis should be performed in a large phase three trial to clarify it. So in our Keynote 62 trial, chemotherapy plus pembrolizumab was also investigated. Unfortunately here, there's no clear improvement in overall survival. After the several positive trials in other types of tumors, such as non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer, breast cancer, so we expect a good result here, but unfortunately this was not achieved. It showed a little bit high response rate and some trend of improvement with PFS, but seemed to be not sufficient. So first of all, there are several studies that are ongoing, that are still ongoing to evaluate combination with chemotherapy. So we want to wait for the additional result. And at the same time, we, maybe we need additional uh, uh, combination to further improve outcome. So one of the key target might be the beige of targeting therapy, uh, which is uh, ramshirumab as a beige of targeting therapy is already approved drug for gastric cancer and combination with uh, PD-1 therapy showed some promising activity. In also, we also presented in a promising activity with a March kinase inhibitor such as regorafenib. So this kind of a newer combination should be further evaluated in gastric cancer field. So yeah, in gastric cancer, as mentioned previously, individualized treatment or personalized treatment must be important based on biomarkers, not only for MS and high, but also PDR1 expression or others. And the uh, combination study may be Im important to improve patient without good response to checkpoint blocker. And also other important point is the perioperative setting. Yeah, this is a still not perfect area. So even in Asian country, not a few patients experience disease progression. And this is meeting Asian trial from Korea and China showed some benefit of adjuvant, uh, new adjuvant, so preoperative treatment, even in Asian patient population. So to combine with additional treatment with this kind of new adjuvant treatment must improve overall gastric cancer patient population, improve prognosis of gastric cancers.